Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, which you probably are because this is my first real video, make sure you like and subscribe and leave comments down below of what videos you might wanna see in the future. Today I'll be talking about how I went from zero experience, no computer science degree, to getting a job as a software developer. This isn't going to be a zero to software developer in three months or in six months because I actually hate when people say that because that is not the experience of most people. They are outliers. So if you want to make a career change into tech or start a career, keep watching and let's get into it. Thank you. I want you to step, bump, step, bump, bump, step, bump, step, bump, bump, five, six, seven, eight. So I'll tell you about the jobs that I had before getting into tech. And I've had a lot. I was a barista, I was a server, I had multiple jobs at the same time throughout college. Um, but my most prominent jobs that I've had in the past was a personal trainer for a couple years, which I loved. Um, and then I was a police officer and then a deputy sheriff. I won't go into too many details about my time as a cop or why I decided to change. Let's just say I knew pretty much from the academy that this was not something I wanted to do long term. So I made the change. But let me take you back to 2019, COVID hit. Our academy shuts down for two weeks and we all get sent back to our departments for who knows how long. So I am literally put in a back room of my police department, filing old police records for 10 hours a day. And we didn't know when we were going back to the academy. So two weeks turned into two and a half months. And again, at that point, I already knew that this was not the job for me and I'll probably make another video about that. But I started researching remote jobs and jobs that you can do from anywhere. That's when I discovered two things. I discovered coding and UI UX design. Long story short, I chose coding and the first course that I did was Colt Steele's, I think it was called like the ultimate coding bootcamp 2019. It was 10 to $15 and that's when I literally fell in love with coding and that's where I started. So I was working on Colt Steele's course and I told myself that if I enjoy coding that I'm gonna stick with it as long as it takes to get a job. Two and a half months later, we go back to the academy. Um, I have also utilized sources like freecodecamp.com and literally just scoured YouTube and Udemy for different courses that got high ratings and that were low cost and I started teaching myself HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. That is what you need to focus on if you are starting to learn to code. Pick a language, pick Python, JavaScript. Um, C plus plus if you want. Just pick something and learn the basics, learn the fundamentals. Throughout the academy, I was teaching myself, I was building small projects, I was watching, tutori watching tutorials, also getting stuck in tutorial hell is what they call it and I started building projects. And I just learned as much as I could. The hard part about teaching yourself is that you don't have a good reference point for how much you're actually learning and absorbing. And I just kind of did lots of things and tried to figure out what stuck. I would say after about nine to 10 months of just teaching myself through tutorials online, free code camp, um, courses on Udemy. I did Team Treehouse's front end tech degree and it was something like 200 to $300 a month but I had taught myself so much at that point so much um, that you can get it done a lot faster so I was done with it in like six to eight weeks and I think I only had to for some reason I only had to make one payment I don't really know but I loved it because of the way that it teaches you and the videos that you can learn from and then you're building projects with that so I started building my own online portfolio which I honestly wouldn't put too much emphasis on at all because the amount of companies who will actually look at that I think that just doesn't happen a lot. So then um, at this point, I also did not make training at my old police department. So I was out of the job for six months and that's when I really hammered um, coding literally every day, like it was my job. Again, I wasn't in a boot camp. I wasn't doing anything professionally. It was just me 
online researching and building things. Eventually, after those six months, I got in with the sheriff's department, so I was working in the jails. And maybe I'll do another video on that one day. Um, again, my whole goal this whole time was I'm not going to stay here. I don't want to stay here. I, I can't see myself here in 10 years from now, but I could see myself in tech in 10 years and that kept me focused. And I just kind of did lots of things and tried to figure out what stuck. So now fast forward to about two years from when I first started in the police station, learning how to code, it's, it's two years later. So now I'm in the sheriff's department, I'm working in the jails and I was interviewing with companies and I was networking with people on LinkedIn and I would make it so far in the process and then I just wouldn't pass like the last interview. So I had kind of all of the boxes check marked, I guess, in my mind, which was I learned enough code, I thought, to get a job professionally. I made a resume and I put projects on that resume and I had also been studying data structures and algorithms which is literally a whole other beast and I'm still not getting in. But the one thing that I really wasn't doing as much as I should have been was networking. So at this point I decided, okay, what if I do a boot camp? Because it seems like a lot of people who do, are doing boot camps, they're getting jobs a lot easier than being self-taught. But the problem was I couldn't afford it at the time and it just didn't work with my schedule. I couldn't do part-time boot camp, and I definitely couldn't do a full-time because I worked night shift. I worked um, 12 hours. Then I found a boot camp online called New Camp and it was a little over $2,000 and you basically do all of your work online throughout the week and then every Saturday you meet for four or five hours with an instructor and other classmates and you go over what you learned that week and build projects as well. So through that boot camp, I was definitely networking with people and I'm there's a lot of amazing people who work there and the CEO Ludo is awesome and really cares about people in the boot camp. And I met someone there online he was actually a cop for 15 years in Ohio and he was wanting to make a change in tech and we just kept in touch throughout the months and he eventually had gotten a job at Home Depot for a little bit as a front end developer and then he started working at this other company as a mobile developer. Around the time that I finished the boot camp, I was about two years in from when I first started and honestly, I was working a lot at the sheriff's I was making a lot of money, I was doing a lot of overtime, I was enjoying the people that I worked with and that's what made it for me. And I knew that if these people leave, I'm gonna hate this job, I'm not gonna wanna do it. Um, but because of the people that I worked with, it was enjoyable, but that's when I also knew I can't stay here because of that. So I'm in it for two years, I'm enjoying where I'm at right now, I'm making good money, still not passing <laughs> interviews, I'm making it up until the end and they're choosing someone else with more experience a lot of the time or the data structures and algorithms are just crushing me. And so honestly, I gave up the search for a little bit. I really did. I, I was applying like weekly. I, I've put out hun literally hundreds, hundreds, over 500 applications for sure that I put out there and I still got nothing. Shortly after I gave up, person who I had stayed in touch with from my boot camp, who also was a cop, reached out to me and he referred me to the company that he was working at. And I did an interview with them. I almost canceled it. And let me tell you, I canceled or no-showed um, a good amount of interviews also before this because I had imposter syndrome so badly that I just didn't think that I was ready for the interview and I would not do that. Please don't do that. Just do the interview, get the experience. It will help you in the long run. But I didn't cancel the interview. I did one and then I did another. And then I think I did a third. I'm not sure, but they gave me a job offer. And I had given up in a sense at this point. I was not searching or anything like that. And I got the job. Here's the problem with people telling you that, oh, if you do this boot camp or if you take this course that you'll become a software developer in three months or in six months or even a year. And it's because every situation, every person's situation is so different. 
that what works for one person might not work for you. So you have to ask yourself, what am I capable of doing? Because I wasn't able to go to an actual part-time or even full-time boot camp. I had to do an online one. And to be honest, I enjoy teaching myself for over a year and a half and building the projects that I wanted to build. So if you're able to afford a boot camp and have that time, whether it's part-time or full-time, just do your research on it and just go for it. But my main advice is stick it out for the long haul. Like don't go for the quick fix and it's super easy to get discouraged when you're on your journey and you're seeing, like I remember looking at LinkedIn and seeing people post like, I just started learning how to code three months ago and now I have a job and I'm making six figures. And it, cause it's like, oh, how are they so much better than I am? I've been teaching myself for almost two years now and I don't have a job. But I think it's so funny that when we don't strive for certain things anymore and we kind of stop working so hard to get it, it just comes to us when the time is right. So step number one, if you're trying to become a developer, Pick a language, JavaScript, Python, C Sharp, and learn HTML and CSS and start building basic things like that. Then you can add a framework to it like React or Express, Angular, whatever. Then build some projects and have at least one full stack project on your resume. And on your resume, have links so they can click on and see the live project itself and links to your GitHub so they can see the code. I would say an online portfolio is not as important as your resume, but also have your resume done by someone professionally on topresume.com. That's what I did. And as soon as I did that, I definitely, I, I started making it through the filters more as I applied to different companies. My resume was making it through the filters. And then after you send your resume out, you have to start preparing for interviews. So know your projects really well because they will ask you about your projects and then you probably should start studying data structures and algorithms. I did that a lot on Leap Code, and then another great site which I highly recommend is Groking the Coding Interview, which I'll put up on the screen. What you should be doing all throughout this process is networking, networking, networking with as many people as you can, especially with people who have gotten a job at a boot camp or from a non-traditional tech background and have gotten a job as a software developer. So that's my story of a general overview of what I did to get it. Um, my channels, I'm definitely not going to keep it just tech things because I know myself and I know I'll already get burnt out and I already feel like a broken record. Um, just saying, this is how I got into tech when there's literally so many channels that tell you the same thing and they just point you to those resources. But I'm definitely gonna do videos on productivity, my like lifestyle and routines and like health and fitness are still a big part of my life. and. Honestly, the whole reason why I got into tech was to have a better lifestyle and to kind of live the way that I want to. And it honestly allows me to do that. So um, yeah, if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Tell anybody, I don't know. Okay.